Hey friends, welcome to day 13 of Dr. Morse's Monkey Diet Challenge. Can you believe that we have just one day left of this challenge? Where did two weeks go? So a quick update on today before we get into the topic of the day, which is the mental and emotional aspect of detox, what to expect, and how to work through it. Alrighty, today, today was a rough day. Guys, I'm not going to lie. Overall, physically, mentally, emotionally, it was a rough day. And that's going to be part of the topic that we'll touch on a little bit later. But um, it was the start of my monthly cycle. So with my herbal tinctures this morning, I did make a mug of red raspberry leaf tea. I love making this tea every morning of my cycle. It has helped me immensely with mood swings, cramping. Um, it just it, It's a fabulous herb to help balance balance the hormones. Other than the tinctures and the tea, I had just a few grapes today and then I struggled. I, guys, I literally struggled to get a quarter of a watermelon down. That's, that's literally all I've had today. So please, <laughs> by all means, do not take my example the last few days as what you should be doing on a raw food diet. By no means is it enough that it's, it's just simply not enough food. But right now, this is all my body is calling for during this healing crisis. Now, I've handled enough of my own healing crises to understand what's going on and I'm not worried about it in the least. I'm simply honoring my body and her call for some fasting. Whenever my body is truly ready for sustenance, then, then I will give her some extra food. Today's topic, the mental and emotional aspect of detox, what to expect and how we can work through it. I've touched on this last year during the juice feast. I believe that was day four. And it's so funny because day four of this great feast is really when those deeper emotions started setting in for me. So I've mentioned it before, but I'll mention it again for anyone that hasn't seen that video. As soon as we start to clean out the physical body, the mental and emotional bodies are literally right behind. They're like, oh, I've been waiting for this. Is it time to go? Can we go now? Can we go? <laughs> and our emotions, our fears, our paranoias, our anxieties, everything that we have been holding on to wants to release. The fears and the paranoias and the childhood traumas and all of these emotions that we're holding on to create obstructions to energy in the body. And we have three major types of energy flows in the body, friends. We have blood, lymph, and nerve. And as emotions and whatnot build up in the body, this can create obstructions for those flows of energy. It is important that we take time to actually feel the feels, right guys? We wanna get in there with the emotions. We wanna sit down and take some time to heal those childhood traumas. Let's forgive ourselves. Let's forgive others. Let's let go of these grudges that we're holding on to because we can't let go of waste if we're holding on to angst, right? I'll say that again. We cannot let go of waste if we're holding on to angst. And it is this emotional baggage and trauma that we all hold with us that affects our daily lives. And I've seen this time and time again in many of my clients where they'll clean up their diets and they'll be making such great progress and suddenly they'll plateau and be just dumbfounded as to why. Leslie, I have never eaten so clean in my life. I don't understand why the scale won't budge. I don't understand why this inflammation isn't going down. I don't understand why this skin rash is still here. Why, why, why? And all the while they're bringing more fear, more anxiety, and just ramping everything up more and more and more. And friends, this is my call to each and every one of you and myself included, that we all need to take one big collective chill pill and just relax. Let's learn how to breathe. What happens when we're stressed? What glands especially are affected when we are stressing our nervous system? the adrenal glands, right? The adrenal glands help to control the emotions, our nervous system. What else do the adrenal glands control? Bowel movement, peristalsis, right? They help to control proper elimination. They're telling the kidneys to filter out our lymphatic waste. What exactly is happening 
to our adrenal glands and our nervous system when we're stressing out so much. And, and guys, I don't care if we're stressing out about world events, about family issues, about our children, about our spouses, about that one random thing we said to someone that we know we shouldn't have said, but we can't take back. I don't care what we're stressing about. If we're holding on to angst, we cannot let go of waste because we're stressing out the adrenal glands and the adrenal glands are going to affect our entire body's elimination. So friends, I want you to let that shit go. <laughs> let it go. Can we please stop picking each other apart? Can we stop picking ourselves apart? Friends, as you move on from this raw food challenge, I highly encourage you to continue with a lot of raw fruits and vegetables. But if you so choose to incorporate other foods, I encourage you to not stress about it. And likewise, if you continue on with the raw foods, I encourage you to not stress about it. So all in all, what I'm saying is that the mental aspect affects the physical much more than we can begin to imagine right now. We're learning more and more how we manifest our physical reality. So if we're constantly stressed and worried and anxious about what we're eating, won't that affect our healing? Won't that affect our physical progress? Things that we can expect while going through the mental and emotional aspects of detox, anger, feelings of sadness, depressive episodes, uh, crying, random bouts of laughter, really insecure moments. Because as we're cleaning out the body, we are cleaning out those adrenal glands and emotions can be a bit of a roller coaster. We can always turn to something like a, a moonshine yarrow, a flower essence to help stabilize mood. But rather than just helping to cover up these symptoms, friends, yes, herbs are incredibly powerful. But when we're talking about the mental and the emotional, this takes real work on the self. This takes having those really difficult conversations with loved ones of voicing our needs, of, of saying when we don't feel heard, of listening when someone doesn't feel heard, right? This is a two-way street, guys, and we cannot forget our humanity. We have to remember that. So I challenge you as you go throughout your physical detox, be prepared for the mental and the emotional. It is very normal to feel these roller coaster of emotions, but this is a call for you to work on those things and to not to continue to bury them. Overall, guys, I just want to leave you with this thought that what we put into our bodies is incredibly important. And I don't take that away whatsoever because we can clearly see and experience very real physical healing simply from changing our diets. And that is, hands down, one of the most powerful things that we can change in order to take control of our health. But we have to stop overlooking the mental and the emotional. We really have to start looking at how we communicate with each other, guys. We have to start listening to each other. We have to start listening to our bodies and honoring our bodies and treating them with the respect that they deserve. Friends, be gentle with yourselves. When you have these off days, they're normal. They happen to the best of us, but do your best to relax. Well, that's it for today, friends. Thanks again for joining me for day 13 of Dr. Morse's Monkey Diet Challenge. We have one day left, so let's finish it strong, and I'll see you tomorrow for day 14.